Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in to Outdoor and Door Texan. Today I'll be showing y'all my recipe for grilled whole flounder. Now flounder is a saltwater fish that can be caught year round here on the Texas coast and many other places. It may look a little funny, but this fish makes up for it in flavor. The meat is very mild and delicate, and it's often an excellent choice for folks who don't like the fishier tasting fish out there. So going over some quick prep tips, when cooking a flounder whole, you need to remove the scales from both sides of the fish. This can be done using a sharp knife running it against the skin from tail to head, or with a peeler like the one I use, or you can use one of those specialty descaling tools they sell. Also, just covering all my bases here, make sure to gut your fish. The flounder has a little gut pocket found beneath his pectoral fin that is easily taken care of with just a couple of cuts from a sharp knife and a thorough flush of water. Finally, if you don't like your fish staring back at you, you can always remove the head completely by slicing diagonally behind the pectoral fin. This cut will also make quick work for gutting the fish. After gutting the fish and removing the scales, we're going to score the fish so that the meat cooks evenly over the grill. Take a sharp knife and carefully slice diagonal cuts into the fish. Gently push down until you hit the rib bones beneath and then draw your knife across. One of the big challenges for grilling any fish is accidentally sticking the skin to the grill. A great solution is to liberally coat the bottom of the flounder with oil so that there's a protective barrier once it's sitting on that hot grill. Once you're done coating the bottom side, flip your fish back over and give the top side an even coating as well. Next up, take somewhere between a quarter and a half stick of butter and place small paths inside the score lines. This will introduce some fat into that lean meat and it'll help the flounder not dry out while grilling. Also, it's butter which makes everything amazing. After the butter, it's time for seasoning. I'm using Musket Powder's Red Label, which is an excellent all around wild game and fish seasoning that comes with just a hint of cayenne to heat things up. I'm a huge fan, you should be as well, but if you don't have any handy today, don't worry about it, just use your favorite seasoning blend in its stead. Lastly, cut one lemon and one lime into very thin slices, and then lay those slices over the top of the fish right before you grill. Today I'm using my Big Green Egg, but just about any grill that can sit at 325 degrees Fahrenheit will work fine. You don't want to grill your fish directly over open flames, so make sure it's sitting far away from the coals on one side. Or you can use a heat shield like the one I'm using in the Big Green Egg. Another crucial tip in stopping the fish from sticking to your grill is thoroughly cleaning and then oiling the grates before you add the fish. After everything's all set and your temp is locked in at 325, toss on the flounder. Cooking times always vary depending on what you're working with, but make sure to check your fish every 10 minutes or so. The flounder meat should firm up, turn real white, and then once it's finally finished, it'll easily flake off with just a touch of a fork or a probe. If you have one handy, instead of just guessing doneness, use an instant read thermometer and target 145 degrees Fahrenheit in all portions of the meat. Once your fish has hit that 145 degree mark and the meat is easily flaking off, Gently transfer the fish off the grill and back on a pan so we can head on inside. I'm happy to report there was only minimal sticking on the bottom. It looks like I lost just two teeny little bits of skin. Now before digging in, make sure to taste a tiny bit of the meat and give it your final touches. I decided to add some melted butter and garlic to mine because we're really big on garlic. But this final touch is completely up to you. It may need some salt, which is a common one since the meat is so mild, or it might need a second dash of your seasoning, or it might need a drizzle of lemon juice so you have a nice bite of citrus. Long story short, taste it and tweak it. Tasting this flounder, I was really happy with how everything came together. The meat itself cooked to a perfect temp where it flaked off effortlessly onto my fork. The butter did its job adding a nice savory element. The musket powder red label brought a nice rounded flavor to the palate with that little hint of heat from the cayenne and all that citrus from the grilled lemons and limes cut through everything with a nice sharp bite. All around, great fish. One final tip for those new to eating whole flounder is to start your fork near the center of the fish and pull it away towards the sides. The meat should come off effortlessly with little to no bones. Also, don't forget there's an entire separate set of fillets on the bottom of your fish. That'll do it for this one and thank y'all so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more great content to come. Alright y'all, take care.